Hi. Now in this next part of the question, we've got to show that the constant k is equal to a half multiplied by 1 plus root 5. Now in the first part, we sketch the probability density function f of x. And so how do I get the value of k? Well, we should be familiar with the fact that the area under the whole of the probability density graph should total 1 because it represents all the probabilities. When I look at this first area here, if I just draw a line down here, the area of this rectangle, it's going to be a half times 1. In other words, a half. So this area here is going to be a half. Let's just mark that in, area equals a half. So that means that the area of this trapezium here, if I just shade it, has got to also equal a half, making that total up to 1. So we've got the area equals a half. Now how do we find out the area of a trapezium? Well the best thing to do, rather than talk about a rectangle and a triangle, is to use the formula for the area of a trapezium, which is half the sum of the parallel sides times the distance between the parallel sides. And it's that that I'm going to use to work out the value of k. So if we start from there, let's just say that the area must equal 1 half. So in other words, being the area of a trapezium, we have therefore 1 half for the area of that trapezium has got to equal. And the formula for a trapezium is half the sum of the parallel sides. So we've got this parallel side here, which is going to be half. And then we add that to the length of this parallel side. Well, we found out earlier it went to k minus a half. That was that height. So we've got plus k minus a half. So that's half the sum of the parallel sides. And then we need to multiply this by the distance between the two parallel sides, which is this distance here, which is going to be k minus 1. So I put k minus 1. OK, so we've got the area should be equal to a half. And it's from this that we can now work. So if I tidy this up, I've got a half here then. Half equals. And we've got a half on this side. And this bracket here, well, these two halves cancel out, just leaving me with k then multiplied by k minus 1. Now if I multiply both sides by 2, then I'm just going to get 1 here. And then 2 times a half is going to be 1. So it's just going to be k times k minus 1. And if I expand that bracket, I'm going to get k squared minus k. And I've got a quadratic equation coming up here. So I need to rearrange this, make it equal to 0. So I've got, therefore, k squared minus k. And if I subtract 1 from both sides, I've got minus 1 equals 0. Now, normally, if I'm solving a quadratic equation, I would want to factorize it. But judging by the answer that I've got here, which has got this root 5 in it, it seems to suggest it's not going to factorize. It's going to be using the quadratic formula. Remember, the quadratic formula is going to be x normally. x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Only this is an equation in terms of k, not x. So it's going to be, therefore, k equals. And the a value would be 1, the b value would be minus 1, and the c value would be minus 1. So according to the formula, it's going to be minus b, so it's going to be minus minus 1, which is going to be plus 1. Then it's plus or minus the square root of b squared. So we've got b, which was minus 1, so we've got minus 1 all squared. Minus 4 times a, a being 1, times c, c being minus 1. And all of this is divided by 2a. 2 times a, which was 1. So if we clean this up, what do we get? We can just squeeze this in here, I hope. We've therefore got that k equals, 
or we've got 1 here plus or minus and then we've got 1 plus 4 so that's going to be root 5 and that's all divided by 2. Now k has got to be a positive constant and I can see that minus root 5 that's going to give us a negative value if we take that option for k. So since k is a positive value, since k is greater than 0, therefore k clearly is equal to, well instead of dividing by 2 I'm going to write that as a half, okay, half of, and then 1 plus root 5. And there you go, that's what we had to show. So I hope that's given you an idea on how we could go about that.